All right, so stock, but yeah, we're gonna play the stock market. This program plays the stock market. You will be given $10,000 and may buy or sell stocks. Let me just turn the volume a bit. Stock prices and trends are generated randomly. Therefore, this model does not represent exactly what happens on the exchange. Depending upon your point of view, you may feel this is quite a good representation. Waka waka. Every trading day, a table of stocks, their prices, and number of shares in your portfolio is printed. Following this, the initials of each stock are printed followed by a question mark. You indicate your transaction and number of shares. A positive number to buy, a negative number to sell, or zero to do no trading. Broker tree of 1% is charged to all transactions. A bargain. Hmm. Probably actually is not a bargain. Those aren't most trades, at least online trades now, like depending on the brokerage between like six and eight dollars, something like that. Well, obviously it depends upon how many shares you're trading, but most of the time, eh, yeah, I guess it depends. Depends what your position is like. No, even if the value of stocks drops to zero, it may rebound again. Then again, it may not. A good stock market game for EduSystem 30 was submitted by John Tymon of Adlai Stevenson High School in Prairie View, Illinois. It was written by a student named Gitsinski. Another one was written by G. Clayton Jobel of Concord, New Hampshire for EduSystem 10. The authors of the one printed are D. Pestel, L. Braun, and C. Losick of the Huntington Computer Project, State University of New York, SUNY, and Stony Brook, New York. I think that's out on Long Island. Memory serves. Um, okay, so we have $10,000, and I guess we're just going to try to get that. Maybe we, maybe, we'll see how it works, but I'm thinking maybe as an inch, maybe as the goal, it should be get our position up to $20,000 to so double our money. We'll see if that's going to be uh, realistic or not. Stock market. Do you want the instructions? Yes, type one. All right, and already we went past the, uh, <laughs> the viewable instructions. Because well, that's a problem with this sometimes, is because because this was printed out on, um, on printer paper, where I have to worry about on-screen pagination. All right, this program plays the stock market. You'd be given. Uh, $10,000 may buy or sell stocks. The stock prices will be generated randomly. And therefore, this model does not represent exactly what happens on the exchange. A table of available stocks, their prices, and the number of shares in your portfolio will be printed. Following this, the initials of each stock will be printed with a question mark. Right, this is what we saw before. Here you indicate a transaction. To buy a stock, type plus NNN. To sell a stock, negative NNN where NNN is the number of shares, okay? A broker tree 1% will be charged on all transactions. Note that if a stock's value drops to zero, it may rebound to a positive value again. You have $10,000 to invest. Use integers for all your inputs. Note to get a feel for the market, run for at least 10 days. Okay, fair enough. Invest heavily in missiles. Good luck. All right, so we have stock, we have Oh, look, yeah, look, IBM stands for International Ballistic Missiles instead of Business Machines. Nice. We have the Red Cross of America. Seems like a worthy cause. Liechtenstein, bum rap and joke. A bum rap. American Bankrupt Company, APC, wow. Centered Bookstore. I like this. Okay, they're, they're like lampooning. Look, and they're, they're lampooning LBJ, Lyndon Baines Johnson. President. <laughs> Liechtenstein bum wrap and joke. Wow. And RCA, of course, was an electronics company, or still is, really. Uh, actually, is RCA still around? I don't know. They're still... Maybe they got bought up by someone. I don't know. And then ABC and CBS are American te television networks. 
All right, so we have the various prices. New York Stock Exchange average is $117.35. Uh, this actually, well, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Total stock assets are $0. We have cash assets of 10,000 and total assets of 10,000. Yeah. So I think we want our total assets maybe to be 20,000. All right. So what is our transaction at IBM? I mean, I don't know. This is going to be totally, um, actually, Akagi, you make a good point. This was, this game was from the Cold War. So maybe, maybe it actually be a good idea to invest in the missiles. But let's buy, uh, we're going to buy, we have to do plus. Buy 50 shares, maybe, in IBM. RCA, Red Cross, I don't know, we can buy 10. We'll try to diversify, have a little bit of diversification here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to afford, I mean, probably bought too many stocks of IBM, but we'll see. LBJ, I'm gonna say zero. We shouldn't buy anything in that position. Bankrupt does not sound like a good company to invest in. Although maybe they help other companies through bankruptcy, I don't know. Centured books, why not? Yeah, let's invest in centered books. Can we afford? Mm, maybe not. Just buy 10 shares in that. All right, end of the day's trading. IBM, net price change. All right, so we went up 75 cents, good. RCA went up 75 cents. Oh wow, the big, the big mover was ABC, went up three and a half dollars. CBS went up $1.75. So then it changed, okay. Wait a minute, we lost money? How did that happen? What were the previous day's prices? How did we... Oh, because we're right, we paid the 1% commission fee. Got it. Got it, so that cost us money. I see. The stocks didn't increase enough to over to compensate the money we paid. Yeah, exactly, Cora. No, yeah, I think it's because of, I think all the prices went up. It's just that we were charged a 1% transit for each transaction fee for each transaction we made. That was the issue. I think. It's hard to know because I can't see the original prices now to compare, but it, it looks like based on the net price change that IBM and RCA went up 75 cents. We didn't see anyone's go down, but we'll see. All right, so right now, cash, we still have $3,200 to play with. Probably should have invested more. Let's buy... Hey, Jorgang's welcome. Uh, I know, I don't think we can. Oh, that's true. Well, I, well, the whole point was I wanted to verify, I wanted to verify that the net price of 0.75 really meant going up 75 cents. I didn't see any negative ones. That was the whole point. I just wanted to make sure what the game's notation was telling us. All right, let's buy five more shares. Well, actually, you know what? It doesn't make sense to buy small transactions. Let's hold steady on IBM and RCA. Maybe we'll get some positions in LBJ and ABC. Let's buy... I don't think we could afford that. Uh, let's buy 15 shares of LBJ and 15 of ABC. We'll hold Betty with the CBS. Height mismatch in 658. Oh no. Really? Oh shit, because I have to put point plus zero one five, right? You have to do you have to do the stocks in three digit numbers. Alright, we gotta restart. We're restarting. Okay, at least the uh, prices start at the same here, it looks like. So we'll buy 15 IBM. RCA, I think we wanted to do... I think we did 10. Let's just buy 15 of everything else, see if we can do that. I don't know if offhand if that the math works there. But... I, no, there was a mismatch. Shit. So maybe there's a, some sort of bug. Let's take a look at the code at line 658. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, we are able to confirm that, so that's good. Okay, 
you'd use oh I see so basically yeah we spent we uh, we bought more stock than we had money to pay for it although something's still wrong here of course because didn't display that properly it should have actually told us that all right got it So, yeah, I mean, I'm inclined to spend... Let's spend all of our money and just make sure it adds up to 10000 So, it actually wasn't a user entry issue. There is a, a bug. Let's just make sure we don't spend more than we have. <laughs> Bacon medallion future. Oh, man. All right, let's do... What if we did... Let me see. I should just get a quick spreadsheet to automatically, like, total of this. Go to our VGO notes. All right, so we got ten thousand dollars. We have RBM, IBM, RCA, LBJ, ABC, and CBS. Prices ninety three and a half, eighty five. Okay. We may need to do some bottom fishing later, but we'll see. And then we'll do E2 times C2. Okay. So how much can we afford of each? And then we'll do a total sum of D2 to D6. Make sure that doesn't go over 10,000. Hey, good morning, Truxton. How are you? Go the bam? Alright, so I initially I bought 5,000, yes, or 50 shares of IBM. $4,600. What if we did 15 of everything else? Yeah, I see, so that puts us 2,000 over. Let's just decrease this to 30. Maybe 30 shares? Oh, still over. 27. 28. Oh, 27. Alright, let's do this. We'll buy 27 shares of IBM. And then we're just going to buy 15, I think 15? Yeah, 15 of everything else. This should work out. Although I didn't put plus. Fuck. Uh. Plus 015. Or, I'm sorry, 27. Why is it saying tight mismatch? That should work out. And let me try one more time, not doing the leading zero. <laughs> Shenanigans. Yeah, that would be a problem if it were publicly traded. Be a for-profit enterprise. Let's try it this way. No, it's still giving me a tight mismatch. All right, let's. Maybe we might need to read the instructions again. I guess. So I know it said use whole integers, which we've been doing. Type right, plus n n. Yeah. And they said we should run it for ten days. I don't know why it's not working out. All right, let me. Let's just buy 15 shares of everything. Hopefully that'll work. Yes. Okay, that worked. Wow, and the <laughs> the price changes were the same as uh, our first run. All right, so we were able to make 39 dollars. Let's continue. I think we're gonna hold steady. I guess we can just pay attention to the trends. If the trends are the same every time, then we can sort of optimize this. All right, oh wow, IBM took off a little bit there, as did ABC. 
We're up to $10,226. Yeah, that's what I think didn't happen. You're right, Doriel. I don't think I did account for the 1% brokerage fee. What I should do is do um, just adjust my formula to subtract uh, 1 uh, 0.01 times B2 times C2, yeah. You're right, I think that's what happened. No, even then. Okay. That still should have worked. I was still under 10,000. Alright, let's just continue. Um, redo from start. Oh, one. Right, sorry. Okay, we're gonna. Alright, now we. Wow, LBJ crashed. Look at that. Down eleven dollars and twenty-five cents. Crap. Actually, you know what? Let's let's pick up LBJ. Maybe we can uh, do some bottom fishing here. Oh shit! I don't think we're gonna be able to afford this. Uh oh. Damn it! We're not gonna be able to. Oh, actually, no. We have a thousand dollars in cash on hand. We're gonna be okay. Let's just buy two shares of LBJ. I think. Nothing of ABC or CBS. Alright. RCA. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at this. LBJ went up. I don't know. It seems very volatile. ABC now all of a sudden went up $16. Damn. The so total assets we have $10,000 still. Or $45. When you actually think about it, doubling your money on the stock market usually takes a long time unless you're doing like some insane day trading, so probably not a great realistic goal to be honest. Let's just do 10 days and make sure we're in the black. I think that'd be a good, uh, good um, sort of goal. What have we done? I think five days so far. This will be day six. All right, RCA and LBJ, man. Damn, rough day on the market. Oof. Stocks continuing to plunge across the board. Now we're in the red. Should we do any bottom fishing? I don't really... No, well, we have $600. We can't really do much. Maybe we can buy a couple of shares of something. LBA, LBJ really took a plunge there. I'm guessing he wasn't well regarded at the time. I don't really want to invest in LBJ. I think whoever wrote this game probably caused the stock to tank. Should we buy more ABC? Let's buy some ABC. Who shares? Oh yeah, look at this. LBJ definitely tanking. God. And ABC just went down right after we bought it. Okay, I think this is day eight. Everything is just getting killed. At least CBS rebounded somewhat. Yeah, but now we're almost we're down fourteen hundred bucks from where we started. Still rough trading here. Day nine. Alright, day 10. Crap, we're down 7,600. Wow, things are really plunging. So now I think we just want to, as soon as we get over $10,000, then we can call it a GG, but we have to have the stocks rebound. There we go, there's a big rebound. Not by ABC. We're back to eight, over 8 grand. Nope, and everything crashed again. Crap. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, we didn't take a close enough look at that photo. But yeah, there there is a guy like holding his gun a gun to his head because he's like so stressed out. Yeah, look, and people are people are jumping out the window, and you've got a guy who's hung himself from the ceiling. And I guess the guy in the front is about is about to tie the ticker tape around his neck, maybe, and strangle himself. Damn. It is pretty dark.
You wouldn't think a stock market game would teach you the lesson of don't, <laughs> don't, don't play the market. All right, you got a slight rebound there. Okay, now we're seeing a rebound. Wow, LBJ, really. Big day for LBJ. All right, 8,400. Can we get to over 10,000? Okay. Things continuing to look up. All right, you know, slightly good day. 8864, 8905. There we go, there's a big day, nice. We're at 9658. Almost back to breaking even. There we go. And there's the big day led by ABC, up $28.25 to give our total position at $10,660.90. It is, in fact, GG, we made $660.90 on the market. Let's go ahead and sell our positions. Cash in. Four stock. Although we did have a 1% transaction cost. <laughs> Actually, I forgot about that. They were down to $557.23. See, you got to ride out. Don't be deterred by the by the swings in the market. You gotta ride out, look for the long run. For the long term. <laughs> that's that's the lesson. Don't freak out. Usually when things are going poorly, that's the worst time to sell. Yes, we have uh, hot wheels for everybody. How about that, Tino? <laughs> I think that's what we can afford at this point. Having made $557.